What up, man? It's Eric Leon, and you watching the Buzz Artist Spotlight. Yeah, let me see what you got. I heard your mama raise a thought. Let me see what you got. Let me see, let me see. Walking around like my shit don't sink. I might hit it on the bathroom sink. So many bitches on the yacht that the shit might sink. Came up on them quick, oh shit, don't drink. Ass with the titties, yeah, she got the whole thing. She wanna fall in love, I told her only in her dreams. Act like she never seen me, but I been up on the scene. Act like she never seen me, but I been up on the scene. Oh my god, girl, you blow my mind. Oh so fly, girl, you oh so fly. Oh my god, girl, you blow my mind. Oh so fly, girl, you oh so fly. Um, I'm a writer, like I've written for other artists, you know, like um, I did company for A Boogie and Remy Ma, like I done a couple other things too. But now, man, I really started finding my wave and not writing. You know what I'm saying? That record is crazy because it sounds like I made it for TikTok almost. That's what it sounds like. But I promise you, I made that record almost three years ago. Um, it was crazy. Me and the dude Troy Boy wind up like running into each other at the club. Um, I was in the DJ booth. They cleared the DJ booth for somebody. Like they left me in there. So I'm like looking around, like, oh, what's going on? Like, why the whole DJ booth got cleared? Dude walks in, blah, blah, blah. He's with the owner of the club, which actually wound up being a producer on the record, too. So they're like, yo, what's up, man? What you doing in here? Like, you know, I'm swagged out. I'm in there lit. I look young. They're like, what you doing here? I tell him, like, oh, what's up, man? Like, I'm Cool and Dre artist. You know what I'm saying? I'm just in here working my record. He's like, oh, you you um signed to Cool and Dre? He's like, that's crazy. We're producers. We have the studio on Monday. And I think this was a Friday. So I was like, oh, I'm going to pull up for sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm all about networking and just and just keeping my face clean and creating relationships, you know? So I pulled up on them. They just wind up playing me something and it just happened. But the whole weekend before that, we was partying. Like, it was something that just happened naturally. So we took, when we was in the club, we wound up partying together that night and the nights after, we just took that experience straight to the studio. We wasn't even thinking much. Like, if you listen to it, it's a four bar loop, like the beat. So he just threw that on. I just started, you know what I'm saying? Just coming up with little dumb stuff. But I was ready to put that stuff out quick. This was three years ago, but it's all about timing, man. Like TikTok is bigger than it's ever been. And, and right now, if you go check TikTok, it's going crazy on there. Like it's only been out a week. I think the past like three days, I think it's been like almost 700 TikToks already made to it just in the past three days. So just it's all about consistency, man. Just got to keep that going. And hopefully it turns into one of them records, you know? In my bag, yeah, that's a Louis bag, yeah In my bag, yeah, that's a Gucci bag, yeah I'm fresh to death, I step on set, but I don't act No, there's not no liquor, homie, that is lean up in my glass, yeah Foreign whips, no boring bitches Most of y'all ain't got no bitches, but you won't admit it I don't wanna rent no shit, I wanna own a building You be acting like a dentist, all up in your feelings Man, this whole thing is really changing the world as we know it, and like Relating it to like music, I think, I don't know, I think it's it's affecting a lot of like established musicians, I feel like are taking the biggest hit um, because of course they're losing show money. Like I think I've seen interviews like Gunna said he lost out on 7 million, Thug said he lost out on uh, uh, close to that. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like as far as content, um, like, the level of content I feel like should go up um like some of the stuff that dropped like future that's my favorite artist um gunna he one of my favorite artists too new like there's so many artists that are dropping right now that I don't think a, like half of this stuff would have dropped if it wasn't quarantine because you know the labels they're smart they know everybody's at home they know streaming numbers are at an all-time high um but like I said, that's for established artists, but artists like me that are coming up, you know what I'm saying? I feel like it really helps us because I might not be getting a huge check for shows, so I'm not missing out on that, but I'm getting to create more content. I'm getting to interact with my fans more on Instagram. I'm getting to utilize social media more than I usually have, you know what I'm saying? And not even me, like I was uh, doing another interview yesterday, I think, and I was telling them, I was like, um, the past couple years, like, I've been blessed enough to keep um, Fat Joe and Cool and Dre and people like, the, the, like, people like that in my company. So, um, just watching somebody like Fat Joe, who's like an older generation of hip hop that didn't use social media like that much to now during quarantine, having his whole own show, the Fat Joe show, you know what I'm saying? The biggest show, they call it the Jopra show. 
He had last night, I think he had Lil Wayne on there. He's having politicians on there, everybody. So somebody that's from another generation like that, like he even admitted, I never used Instagram. Like, you know what I'm saying? And right. he got Lil Wayne on Instagram Live last night for the first time ever. Like before Lil Wayne got off, he's like, yo, thank you, Joe, for getting me on IG Live for my first time ever. You know what I'm saying? So I think that is really could shift the dynamic of the industry itself as far as like where the checks are coming from. You might not get paid five, 10 grand or 20 grand to go do a show, but you might get paid five grand to do something like this. You know what I'm saying? Or, or to go play a video game on a stream or something. You know what I'm saying? So I think that uh, content should really like be at its best form by the time this whole quarantine thing is done, I, I hope. Since I was like 15, I was I've been signed to like a management company, either a management deal, a record deal, a production deal, all different people, something. So I really learned the game and everything. You know what I'm saying? I really put in groundwork for a long time. But it's like you said, like a lot of my biggest fans till this day are fans that I met through the other label when I was 15 that just because I stopped messing with that label doesn't mean they stopped messing with me. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, like it's a core fan base, like they're true to me. So yeah, nah, that's definitely, definitely like a thing. Like I feel like if you, if you like an artist, for example, is like X, uh, triple X, Tentacion, um, somebody that has 40 million fans, next to his 10 million fans, like his 10 million fans are gonna go so much harder than anybody else's 40 million fans because it's a cult following, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's a different type of fan. They're making fam, they're not just following you on Instagram. They're following you on Instagram, Twitter. They got your post notifications on. They're making fan pages, you know what I'm saying? So like you said, like, and I think that's what a lot of industry artists too are, are, are going after and it's gonna help them too, like just, tying this whole coronavirus thing in, like all this is gonna help them build that up. Cause I think being on more IG lives and interviews and, and doing all this stuff that they have to do now is gonna humanize artists, especially hip hop artists. Cause I feel like we're not like humanized that much. Like they just look at us like we're, we're just artists. You know what I'm saying? Like, especially like fans that don't know you personally and, and stuff like that. Like they look at you like you're just an artist. You don't have feelings, you don't go through stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't have a family and now people are gonna really get to learn about these artists because they're gonna get the stairs. They sitting in the house. The artists are sitting in the house explaining about themselves and everything, you know? I don't got nothing to hide. I, I've been like, and I'm a, I'm an out there person. You know what I'm saying? Like I always been like that, but I'm at the same time, I'm also cool and I'm chill. Like when I'm in a room with you, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna be laid back, especially if I don't know everybody. I mean, that's a good point. I feel like it really just depends on what kind of artist you are, you know what I'm saying? And, and what you really stand for, or what you represent, because like an artist, when he was coming out like a Bryson Tiller or like a Travis Scott, they built their whole thing off of a mystique, you know what I'm saying? But then there's other artists out there like a Lil Pump or, you know, like the new generate, like a different type of artist that if they if they were to do that, they wouldn't be where they're at today. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. So I really, like I said, I think it's just really depends on what type of artist you are and like what type of person you are and what you represent, you know? When I was in high school, man, like my whole process and everything of recording, like I was known as a rapper and as an artist, but my whole process of recording was just shit. Like I would only put music out, like uh, record music. Like I would record a song a month, two songs a month, but for some reason, Every time I've released those songs, they will always get crazy feedback, even if a year went by. You know what I'm saying? So I was always blessed with that. And then after that, it's just, you know, like I worked with DJ Khaled in 2017. Um, he hosted my project. A lot of people that like done went through what I went through, like I've been signed to labels that I've been already, and I'm young and I've been shelved and I've been all that. So like for any like artist that's coming up too, don't just make decisions because it's like, you like this song. Like that's me. Like I like to, I want, I, there's other songs I would have put out over this song. You know what I'm saying? Because I like those songs more. I might listen to them more, but this song is really a different, you know, it's a different bag. It's a different, you know what I'm saying? It's a different vibe. It's one of them crossover vibes. It's one of them ones where it's like, hey, that could go.
So, you know, you got to balance your business and, and what you want to, like, what legacy you want to create, too, at the same time. Well, what's next for you? Because, again, we got this quarantine. Is it affecting you as far as, like, video, like, scheduling and everything else? Of really Man, I'm about to start. I got a video I'm about to shoot later. I'm going to start shooting later tonight um, and tomorrow as well. I got a project that's coming out next month. You feel me? So as far as my stuff, like I said earlier in this interview, man, it's like for established artists, I feel like it's really, they're really taking more of a hit. But as far as like emerging artists and stuff like that, I think it's, I think it's great for us. You know, really after this single, man, we, we going with the project. So okay. I'm really, um, project looking like, uh, the June's next month, right? The end of June. And if anything, it's going to be very, very early July. Um, the name of the project is We In The World, which is like, that's like me and the gang created that. Like, that's our version of like, we outside. And like, we created that shit when we was every night. Like, Cool & Dre recipe of pushing records is go to the club, meet these DJs yourself, put in the groundwork, you know what I'm saying? So they respect you, go stand by the DJ. Even if you got to stand there from 1.30 to 4.30 in the morning until they play your record, stand there do that you know what i'm saying so i'm really hoping that this quarantine is over with when the pro like it ends right when the project comes out because it'll all just make sense we in the world then everybody back outside like it'll just you know what i'm saying everything will just line up man the stars are aligned so i'm really hoping for that man, go get me on ig eric leon 772 twitter eric leon 772 all that man the soundcloud eric leon music go get me on apple music spotify all that man turn me up i got on um, let me see y'all now featuring Troy Boy. Um, I need y'all to go make TikToks for that. You know what I'm saying? So major is major, man, because I feel like I want to not on when, when outside opens back up with this record, like Miami already knows this record. Cause like I said, I recorded this three years ago. I was testing this in the club two and a half years ago. I was going crazy with it. Miami been waiting on it. So I know outside gonna go crazy. So it's just up to me now to make sure social media picks it all up and make sure the TikTok going crazy and the gram going crazy. So then when I step back out, it's just it's out of there. You know what I'm saying? What's up, man? My name's Eric Leon. You just been buzzed.